Calprotectin is a lab test that may be included in stool testing that you've had done or that you may have done in the future. And I've seen a lot of misinformation about what Calprotectin does and does not mean about what is going on in your colon or in your digestive system. So I'm making this video to clarify several things and make sure that you know at least as much and possibly more than your doctor does about calprotectin. Hi, I'm Dr. Stephen Wang and the founder and medical director of the IBS Treatment Center. I've been testing calprotectin levels in thousands of my patients for well over a decade, and I'd like you to know what calprotectin can tell you and what it cannot tell you. Now, what is calprotectin? Calprotectin is a protein that is expressed by various cells in the body. And many of the cells that express calprotectin are cells that are part of your immune system. And therefore, calprotectin is considered an inflammatory marker because these immune cells are involved in inflammation. Now, if you've read anything about calprotectin, you've probably been given the impression that it is associated with IBD or what's called inflammatory bowel disease and that it can help differentiate between IBD and IBS, which is irritable bowel syndrome. However, if you know anything about me and my videos, you know that I like to give you the full story and that nothing is as simple as it seems. Does calprotectin help separate IBD and IBS? Well, first, unlike other sources, I'd like to tell you that it's not a very good marker for differentiating IBD and IBS. I've seen many IBS patients who had elevated levels of calprotectin, and I know that they didn't have IBD because they'd had a colonoscopy and they'd ruled out IBD. So that leads to a question. Is calprotectin elevated in a lot more cases of IBD than IBS? Yes, but you can't diagnose them with it. Calprotectin is not the inflammatory marker that you think it is. Now that's my second point. I want, it, I want you to know that calprotectin is an inflammatory marker. It's not the inflammatory marker. It's not the only possible way for inflammation to show up in the intestinal tract. Inflammation is super complicated and there is no one marker, no one test that anywhere in the body that, and not just including the intestinal tract, that can test you for inflammation. And I wish that there were, I wish there were simple tests which says, hey, there's inflammation or there's not inflammation but inflammation just isn't that simple. It's just way too complicated. So you can't determine whether or not you have inflammation simply based on measuring calprotectin. Now, do other cells produce calprotectin? So this is the third point, and it's helpful to know that calprotectin is also produced by epithelial cells, not just inflammatory cells, that are part of the immune system. So epithelial cells are all over the body, as you might already know, and they're also the cells that line your digestive tract. So an elevated calprotectin number might not have much or anything to do with your immune system or inflammation. Now, what does elevated calprotectin mean? So this is, this is the fourth and final point. Now, Having an elevation in calprotectin is not specific to any one condition. You can't diagnose anything with it. You can only monitor calprotectin. So if it's elevated, you can watch it to see whether or not it decreases in response to whatever your treatment is. And that can have some value. But other than that, calprotectin does not lead you to the cause of the problem. All right, frustrated yet? Yeah, me too, because unfortunately, calprotectin has been oversold. But 
I hope that you found this video helpful. And if so, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more insight in your digestive and overall health. Thank you for watching.